DC superhero movies have needed help getting off the ground. Audiences or critics have yet to warmly receive the DC Extended Universe films as the Marvel Cinematic Universe flicks. The actors who play the heroes are often the only reason to watch mediocre films. Henry Cavill's Superman was a bright spot. Man of Steel, Batman vs. Superman, Dawn of Justice, and Justice League are the three films in which Cavill has portrayed Clark Kent or Superman. This year, in the most recent DC film, Black Adam, he made a brief appearance as the legendary hero. Cavill announced his return to the DC film universe at the end of October, just after the release of Black Adam. Unfortunately, it has been confirmed that Henry Cavill's Man of Steel will not return. Keep watching to see why our Superman had to leave DC. Can we still trust Henry Cavill as Superman? About the same time Henry Cavill announced his return to the role of Superman, DC announced that James Gunn and Peter Safran would shortly take over as studio presidents and have completely authority over the creative direction of the DC movie universe. Gunn's work includes the Guardians of the Galaxy trilogy for Marvel and some of the strongest entries in the DC franchise including the Suicide Squad in 2021 and the Peacemaker HBO series for that network. It was announced on December 15 by DC that Cavill would not be a part of Gunn's future for Superman. Instead of focusing on Cavill's older Superman, Gunn's next film will follow a younger character version. Despite DC's assurances to the contrary, Cavill made the official announcement on Instagram that he had met with Gunn and Saffron and would no longer be playing Superman. In a brief message, Cavill expressed gratitude to those who have embraced his version of the iconic comic book hero. DC fans have something to be worried about. It's always frustrating to be a DC Comics fan in a world where the Marvel Cinematic Universe dominates. Still, the last few weeks have been especially draining due to the chaos surrounding DC's movie news. Moreover, I have little reason to believe things will improve anytime soon. What's going on with Henry Cavill, Dwayne Johnson? And Superman is the most noteworthy current event. To rewind a bit, it's important to know that Cavill and Johnson are represented by the same management. Johnson's ex-wife. After the end of filming on Black Adam, Johnson decided to include a post credit scene in which Cavill reprises his role as Superman, a moment Johnson spoiled during the press junket. Naturally, this made fans excited to see Cavill return to the role. This excitement was amplified when he posted a photo of himself in costume and announced his departure from Netflix The Witcher. However, rumors and leaks from within the studio gradually diminished the likelihood of Cavill's return to the role until Gunn confirmed it wasn't happening. Gunn is working on the new slate of DC projects with co-CEO Peter Safran, including among those on the schedule is Superman, which he tweeted, Superman's early existence will be the focus of our plot, hence Henry Cavill will not be cast in the role. As for Henry Cavill's Superman, what exactly happened there? Henry Cavill was dismissed from his role as Superman after a heated dispute with DC Studios. Getting cast in a superhero movie these days is like finding a time machine that allows you to invest in Coca-Cola in 1938 or whatever. It's a terrible blow to any actor's career. Losing out on the superhuman sums paid by superhero movies is a devastating blow to anyone's bank account. Maybe you're wondering, how the heck did this to Henry Cavill. That Henry Cavill's manager would allow this to happen is beyond comprehension. Alright, now things start to get strange. Recently, Dwayne The Rock Johnson took to Twitter to deny reports that Henry Cavill had dismissed his manager, who also happened to be Johnson's ex-wife and manager. Why? I am still trying to figure out what to do. It's never done. The Rock has a history of publicly supporting Henry Cavill's return to the DCU. After all, the actor exerted some effort to secure Henry Cavill's participation as Superman in a post credit scene following Black Adam. Why Johnson would continue to advocate for Cavill after Cavill's severed ties with Johnson's former manager is unclear, and why he would lie about it is even more perplexing to me. This wouldn't be the first time Johnson has lied to the public. It was recently revealed that he gave a skewed profit sheet to the press in order to make it seem like Black Adam did better at the box office than it did. The situation is becoming rather strange. If anything, this proves that Hollywood's DC Universe is on fire behind the scenes, and we've been smelling smoke for years. DC has had a lot of trouble getting good movies made.
2008, in contrast to Marvel dominating the film industry. It's had some shady behind-the-scenes personal changes to go along with the studio controversy and weak box office revenues. It's unclear at this time if Henry Cavill or The Rock will return to DC, but if they don't, it might be the beginning of the end for the company. The future has the answer. The same goes for Twitter. Do like, share, and subscribe, and do leave a comment on whether this news makes you sad or happy. See you in the next video!